Okay, today we're going to talk about what we do uh, when we square a binomial. Um, there are two situations. There's one in which it's a plus b squared, and there's another situation where it's a minus b squared. These formulas right here um, will help you uh, be able to multiply or square the binomial. So a just represents something that's uh, in front of the plus sign and then something after the plus sign is your B. Same thing for the minus. So if we look at example one using those formulas, and I'll show you how the formulas work in a little bit, but for right now, um, this is in the form A plus B squared. So our A, I'm going to go ahead and write that out, our A is 2X, our B is what's after that, which is 7. So we're going to use this formula right up here, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So I'm going to write down that formula. We have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in for a, we're going to put 2x. For b, we're going to put 7. So we get 2x squared plus 2, and I'm putting parentheses around what I plug in, 2 times 2x times 7 and then plus b is 7, so 7 squared. Now we can go through and simplify this. So remember our, our exponent rules. When we have a squared, something in parentheses squared, that squared has to be distributed to both the 2 and the x. So that's 2 squared, which is 4, and then x squared, plus, okay, what we do here is we multiply our whole numbers. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 7 is 28. So we get plus 28x plus 7 squared is 49. This is the answer. Now let me show you why this works. Looking at our next one. Okay, looking at our next one, we have y minus 16 squared. This is the same as y minus 16 times y minus 16. Okay, if we were to do like what we did yesterday, our first, inner, outer, last, oh, sorry, I spelled that wrong, F-O-I, oh, I'm a math teacher, not a spelling teacher, sorry about that, um, don't tell Doning that I misspelled foil. But anyway, so now we can do uh, first, outer, inner, last. So first is y and y, so we get y squared. Our outers are y times negative 16, so we get negative 16y. Our inners are negative 16 and y, so we get another negative 16 and y. And then we have negative 16 times negative 16 gives us plus uh, 32. And then we can go ahead and combine these middle negative uh, 16 and negative 16. So we get y squared minus 32y plus 32. So we would, if we had used the formulas on this problem, if you look, it's that middle term. Well, the first term is just a squared. Well, if you look, y squared, isn't that what we get for the, for the first term is y squared. The second one is 2 times a times b. So you, that's 2 times y times 16. Okay, that's 2 times y times 16, which doesn't that give you the 32y? And then it's a minus sign, so it's a minus in front of it. So it's basically this formula is a shortcut to having to go out and do all of this and then combine your middle two terms there. It's a shortcut to FOIL. And you are expected to know how to use these formulas. So um, you do need to know how to use these. I will give you the formulas on a test, but you will need to know how to use them. All right, so letter C is in the form A minus 6, or A minus B squared. So we're going to use the formula up here. Now the only difference in the plus and minus formulas is that first sign. On the second sign of both of these, you notice it's both it's plus and plus. Whereas over here, this one's plus and this one is minus. So that's the only difference in the formulas. Otherwise, they're exactly identical. So I'm going to use my formula a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. I'm going to pick out what my a and my b are. a is what's before, which is z. 
B is 6. So now I'm going to plug these in for A and B. So we get Z squared minus 2 times Z times 6 plus Z squared. Now we go through and just simplify that middle term and we'll be done. So we get, oh, I'm sorry, this is not Z squared. This should be 6 squared. Sorry about that. That's our B. So then we get Z squared minus 12Z and then plus 36 because 6 squared is 36. Okay, let's use the formula on another one here. This is another one where it's a, a minus b squared, so we're going to use a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Our a is 4x, our b is negative 2, or just 2, I'm sorry, don't use the negative because we're going to take care of that with this formula. So just use the numbers before and the number after, don't worry about the signs, the formula takes care of that for you. Okay. So then we have 4x squared, because I plugged 4x in for a, minus 2 times 4x times 2, and then plus b is 2, so plus 2 squared. Now we'll go ahead and simplify these terms. Remember from example 1, this squared has to go to both the 4 and the x. So 4 squared is 16, so we get 16x squared minus 2 times 4 times 2. So 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So we get minus 16x and then plus 2 squared is 4. And that is how we square a binomial. Okay, now let's go ahead and flip our papers over. This formula is even easier to use. This is called the difference of squares. The reason it's called the difference of squares is we have two binomials. The a and the b are the same. The only difference is one's plus, one's minus. So when we do this, we can um, use the formula a squared minus b squared. So this is, again, a shortcut for, for these special cases. The other side of the paper was the square of a binomial. Here is what we call difference of squares. So if we look, we do the same concept. We pick out what, we use our formula, a squared minus b squared for this one. So if you have the same thing for a and b, and the only difference is one of them is plus, one of them is minus, this formula is the one you use. That's how you decide which formula to use. So our a is going to be d, and our b is going to be 11, because d comes before the sign, 11 comes after the sign. Now we just plug it in. So we have d squared minus 11 squared. So then this is d squared minus 11 squared is 121. And that is all you do with those. These are even easier than the ones from the other side of the paper. And again, if we were to do the first outer inner last, I'll spell FOIL right this time, F-O-I-L, if you were to FOIL it out, your middle two terms actually cancel, and that's how come we have only two terms in the end. So this is just a shortcut to foiling. We're doing the exact same thing, it's just a shortcut. Okay, let's look at B. Letter B. This time, um, it's the same thing. We use the formula A squared minus B squared. A equals T cubed, and B equals 6. So there's our A and our B. We're going to plug them in. Be careful when you plug in the A. Because a is t cubed and then squared. So you've got a power to a power, and from chapter 8 you should know how to do that, minus 6 squared. So on our power to a power, we have to multiply these exponents. So you get t to the 6th power minus 36. And that's it. That's all there is to these. These are by far the easier of the problems that you've learned on these notes so far. All right, so let's look at C. Same thing, we're going to use the formula a squared minus b squared. a is 2a and b is 6. Let's plug those in. We get 2a squared minus 6 squared. And again, don't forget your exponent rules. This has to go to both the 2 and the a. So it becomes 4a squared minus 36.
That's all you do on that one. Okay, letter D. Same thing, we have a squared minus b squared. a is 7x, b is 4. We'll go ahead and plug these right in. We get 7x squared minus 4 squared. Distribute our power to both the 7 and the x, so we get 49x squared minus 16. And that is how you do a difference of squares. Before uh, I finish, I just want you to notice the differences in the difference of squares. That's where you have the same a and b, but one of them's plus, one of them's minus. On the other side, where we have the square of a binomial, you just have a plus b squared or a minus b squared. And again, the difference in these two is just this first sign. If it's minus, it's minus there. If it's a plus, it's plus there. And that is our shortcuts for our special cases. Thank you for listening.